Hello friends, this is Sanjeev Kaushik and welcome to my channel Methodical Trades. In this video, we'll talk about a short term investment strategy that has a very high success rate. As per some studies, and you might have come across this data as well, the investment horizon of investors is going down drastically. Earlier, people used to hold stocks for years and years, and now the investment horizon is very short. However, that doesn't mean that you cannot be profitable in stock market as long as your strategies for picking up the stocks works. And given, of course, you have good risk management system and also good discipline when it comes to taking your profits. Now, the strategy that I'm going to cover has a success rate of about 75%, which means five out of 20 stocks that you will pick will go to stop loss. And the next five out of these 20 will not give you very substantial returns. Chances are you will exit with minor bit of profits at break even and sometimes at minor bit of losses. However, the remaining 10 out of the pack of 20 will give you massive returns. You will have a time horizon of three months. Just 10 stocks are good enough to generate a return much higher than the index. And my philosophy has always been to beat the index both in my trading profits as well as my investing profits. And believe it or not, this is not an easy task. All right, so let me explain what this strategy is about. We're going to use two indicators. First indicator is Bollinger Band, but we will change the settings of Bollinger Bands. So note these settings carefully, otherwise you will have to come back and visit this video. Here's a setting. The length or the number of days that Bollinger Band will take into consideration will be 10 and the standard deviation should be 1. Now, those of you who know Bollinger Band, it's good. Otherwise, let me explain it in just one sentence. Bollinger Band calculates the standard deviation or volatility in the stock and you can actually increase or decrease the standard deviation to be shown on the chart using this particular indicator. Right. If you want to know more about volatility, standard deviation, how it's computed, I'll make sure that the link for that particular video will flash right now. You can go ahead and watch this video. It's a very long video, but one of my best performing videos because it's content packed and extremely useful for those who trade in options as well. Anyway, so that's going to be our setting. And of course, the time frame for the chart will be daily. Now note that this strategy will only work on daily. And why am I saying that? Because I have back tested this strategy only on daily. And of course, I'm making my investment decisions only on daily basis. And secondly, this is not a shorting strategy. You cannot reverse all the rules and say that now I'm also going to use it for shorting. Although the rules are reversible, but I wouldn't really use it for shorting purpose. Okay, the next indicator is on balance volume, OBV. It is a very powerful indicator and one of my all time favorites. How it's computed is very simple. It has on balance volume. That is the volume is accumulated in such a way that if the day closes in green, then the volume for that particular day will be added in the previous day's OBV. Right? So the volume is accumulating on a daily basis or whichever time frame that you're looking at. But if the day closes in red or in negative, then the volume for that day will be deducted from the prior day's OBV. So if the OBV is constantly rising, as we can see over here, it means the volume on the days when the stock was rising is higher than the volume on the days when the stock was falling or closed in red. So it is a very good indicator of what the smart money is doing. If people are accumulating this stock and if you see divergence on it, then it is a very good sign. Divergence means the stock is range bound or falling a bit, but you're seeing a constant up move on OBV, right? This strategy is so powerful. I should have added it in the course for the course attendees. However, nonetheless, now this is going to be open out there in public with a horizon of one to three months. You will make very good return on your stock investments. OK, how are you going to implement it? Very simple and straightforward. You see how Bollinger Band works is when the volatility goes down, right? Or when the stock has been consolidating for a decent period of time, it squeezes a lot. 
That is the time when there goes on a tug of war between the bulls and the bears and the fight is very close. But nobody knows who will win, right? So we're going to wait for the bulls to win before we take this strategy. When these Bollinger Bands will squeeze a lot, squeeze so much that they're almost at a kissing distance to each other. This will be the time when we will look for the stock to give a breakout on the upside, right? So the first condition is it should be squeezing. It's not like you will see this kind of a Bollinger Band squeeze on all sorts of charts, right? So it is not rare, I would say, but you definitely will have to put in some efforts. And that's why I said in the beginning of the video, you are not going to go ahead and buy all stocks tomorrow. You will have to do a little bit of work to find the stocks that are worthy of our investments. So when we see the Bollinger Band starting to squeeze, we will get alert. So far, OBV is not in the picture. Now, when the stock will start breaking out, this is the time when we will look to enter in the stock and we will also look for confirmation on the basis of OBV breakout. That is, if I saw this kind of a squeeze here and bit of a disclosure, I actually bought Ambuja Cements. This is the stock for Ambuja Cement I should have mentioned earlier at this breakout and I'm still holding Although it has surpassed my expectations, all the Fibonacci levels have also been surpassed, but I'm still holding it. I don't know. There's definitely something cooking in this stock. I've already seen a huge up move in the stock and I don't know, it's not even stopping at these levels, right? So what I would do is I'm going to mark a level here, right? For me, this is going to be my OBV breakout, right? This is a saucer kind of a formation forming on OBV. Even if you don't know how to uh, spot patterns, it's still totally fine, right? All you have to do is look for the OBV breakout. Now we know that when the stock will come out of this range here, and when the OBV will also give you a bit of a breakout, that will be the time for us to buy. If you're someone who is risk averse, then you should look for the entry signal on both OBV as well as Bollinger Bands, right? So somewhere on this candle is where we would have gotten our entry signal, right? But if you see OBV constantly rising, right? If you see OBV constantly rising, although this is not really the case in this particular example, but we'll see many examples. And alongside the constant rising of OBV, you also see a breakout of Bollinger Band. This is also an indication for you to buy. So even though the breakout on OBV is, uh, I would say optional, yet if you want to make sure that your success rate on this strategy is high, you wait for the breakout on both. Chances are you will get a better entry when you're only looking at the entry based on Bollinger Bands. But if you would look at the OBV at the same time, your success rate would be higher and the stocks going to losses or not giving you very sharp moves will actually be very few that you'll add in the portfolio. Now what happens, this is a property of Bollinger Bands, is after a squeeze like this, you see the volatility expanding in the stock and whichever direction the stock goes after coming out of the Bollinger Bands, you will see very sharp and huge moves in that direction. So in this case, you can see the sharp move upwards in th this particular stock, right? So this is the property of Bollinger Bands and we are going to play on Bollinger Bands, right? That is, we would look for the squeeze in the Bollinger Band to a level where the volatility is very low. And we will also look at the OBV indicator to tell us what the smart money is doing. So we are actually mixing up the volatility as well as volume action to combine into this strategy to take positions that have very high conviction and very high success rate for us, right? These are the stocks that we are going to cover in this video. Some of them have already given breakout. Some of them are at the verge of giving breakout and some of them will never pan out. It's up to you to decide. This is not a buy or sell recommendation, of course, but just giving you some examples so that things are clear to you. So the next stock that we are going to look at is Rivian. It's a recently listed electric vehicle maker in US. 
and this has already given us breakout on OBV. In fact, one of the stocks that I'm going to cover has given a breakout just yesterday. I should have released this video last week so that you could take the position in that. But I believe in that stock, if there's any kind of dip that we'll see, you should uh, consider buying it. Again, not a buy or sell recommendation, but somehow I just end up speaking these words. Anyway, here, needless to say, you can already spot where we saw this kind of a squeeze. This is literally touching each other. This is an even better squeeze when compared with the Ambuja Cement stock. And here again, we also saw a proper breakout on OBV as well. Now, how are we going to assign the levels on OBV? Just look at the level where the OBV had taken a bit of resistance and came down. If you have been tracking my work, you know that I'm a great supporter of the idea of identifying proper supports and resistances. I've released three videos, mini series as well on it. So go ahead and watch that playlist. Essentially, what we're looking for are key levels on OBV for the stock to break out on. You see, this was a support here, broke down, then acted as a resistance. So for me, a breakout above these levels alongside the Bollinger Band breakout, a very good way to enter in the stock. When you see, and this is not going to be very common, the OBV breakout alongside the Bollinger Band breakout, but when you see both of them in sync, this is an even higher probability trade. Now, let's talk about targets. The target will be the immediately next resistance. Of course, you would hope for the stock to give you 15-20% return, and it will not be rare for the stocks to give you this kind of a return. But for us, again, the target would be next resistance. So for Rivian, I would play for a bounce to say 50 level or so. I might consider taking my profits off when the stock runs up by 10% and then another 50% when it runs up by another 10% from the original entry level, right? So this is how we are going to assign our target. What's going to be our stop loss? There are two ways to assign stop loss and I will leave it for you to decide which way you want to go. One of the ways to assign stop loss is to assign it at the level where the stock was consolidating and the lower range of that consolidation will become your stop loss. It is a given that the stock that is giving us breakout on Bollinger Band has been in a consolidation. There will never be any exception. So the lower range of that consolidation can be a stop loss. The other way can be ATR based, right? So one ATR can be a stop loss from the level of your entry. The problem with the stop loss assignment using the lower range of consolidation is that sometimes the consolidation can be very big right the stock may have been oscillating in a very broad range so if the consolidation range is very big then in that case your stop loss will be very low so you will have to accordingly decrease your position size if you don't want to do that if you want to play it a little more safer then by all means, you can put your stop loss at 180R. I have released another entire video on stop loss with the title of celebrating stop loss. Another key aspect of trading, I would say. So go ahead and watch that video as well. I'll make sure that the link to that video will flash towards the end of this video. Anyway. Okay, so this was about this entire strategy. Now let's move on to the third stock, which also happens to be the stock that gave breakout just yesterday, Thursday. That is on 15th of September. I'm shooting this video on 16th of September. And the stock is an India listed company, Delta Corp. Now this stock is very interesting. It has given breakout two times in last one to two months, right? So the last time it gave breakout was on 25th July and it again gave a breakout yesterday. First time I bought this stock was at around 183 level back in July and now again I added to my position just yesterday and I have now made Delta Corp second biggest position in my short term investing portfolio. This stock is really amazing. If you will see its OBV and if I squeeze in more data points, you'll see that its OBV is at all time high, even though the stock has corrected so much from its all time high. What it is telling us is that there is buying interest in this stock. It is a very uncommon sight to see a stock 
so down below from its all-time high yet its obv is at all-time high so that is what has been keeping me bullish on this stock for a very long period of time this consolidation was even better right those of you who can spot the pattern you will say that this is a rounding bottom pattern right again the rounding bottom pattern breakout also came here another very great confirmation and from there onwards we saw the obv breakout at the same point right i'm talking about this levels if you're not able to track my cursor so this was the first entry level the obv breakout coinciding with the bollinger band breakout and then the next breakout coming here the stock went into a solid consolidation because it was in band period those of you who don't track indian markets maybe will not be aware of the band period in um, indian markets and how it works but nonetheless it gave a breakout yesterday so I added on to my position. It's too big a position. Okay. So this was Delta. And now we'll look at Stone Co, which is a US listed company. And here you will see that the stock definitely has fallen a lot. And alongside that, the OBV is also down. Now, these kind of stocks that have been consolidating a lot give us a lot of comfort when it comes to buying them and if we can associate this bollinger band alongside the obv breakout at some stage we will wait for an obv breakout above this level and also a bollinger band breakout and we will look to purchase this particular stock it has been consolidating it already formed a bottom back in march and then it retested those bottoms in may again in june and since then it has been trading slightly above the bottom range this is also a high risk high reward kind of a trade if it will go up it will go to 20 levels without you even knowing about it right so that will be 100 percent increase and if it will go down maybe it will go down to four or five levels again without you even noticing this kind of a drop so you'll have to be a little careful these are really the high flyers stocks that have been beaten down the most by the market so you'll have to be a little more careful with uh, picking these kind of stocks the others that i've covered so far are comparatively better stocks than this one um, at least on a fundamental level but we are looking at charts we're not looking at anything else what i am seeing is that even though the stock has been in a constant consolidation we are seeing a rise in obv which again is a very positive sign a breakout above this and we'll be ready to go and by the way if your stop loss is not hit and if the stock is still in consolidation then you can stick in that particular trade right that's why the stop loss based on the lower range of consolidation is a better way of sticking with these particular trades sometimes it will test your patience you will have to stick in the trade one month two months even three months right so if there is not a decisive breakdown for that particular stock from that consolidation you can stick in the trade it's not like it'll zoom up anything can happen in stock markets and you will see all kind of scenarios pan out um, while investing on this particular strategy okay let's move on to the next stock that is ircTC India listed stock it was again a high flyer at some stage but now it's consolidating but what you will see it's obv is still very close to its all-time highs the bollinger band has also squeezed a lot in fact if you would look closely and by the way you will have to really zoom in when you're trading on this particular strategy now as you can see the bollinger band breakout has already come and if i were to also coincide this with my obv strategy then this is the level that i would look closely for it to breach right so this was a bit of a resistance right or if you want to be a little more risk averse and don't mind entering into this stock at a little later stage then you can consider entering when it's all time high obv is taken out so different ways of trading depending upon your risk appetite depending upon your position sizing you can accordingly take your call what would i do i would essentially take the position here keep my stop loss at this level that is around 703 to 705 level and then see if it will give some kind of a breakout if it does break out you can easily expect the levels of 800 to 850 to come on this stock in next three months i'm somewhat bullish on this particular stock even though it hasn't performed well yet i do see that there is consolidation happening in this stock and the smart money is accumulating it 
Now let me share two US listed companies. And this is Space. This is one of those stocks where I don't really have much of a conviction. This can go anywhere. It can go to zero as well. So fundamentally, the stock is questionable. It has been squeezing a lot on the basis of Bollinger Band, but I would only take it into consideration when it gives me a meaningful breakout on the OBV. So I will look for this resistance. It has been tested twice. It was also support at some stage. So if the Bollinger Band breakout has happened already, but OBV breakout hasn't happened, I will wait. I will wait when the OBV breakout comes because if you ask me, I look at OBV breakout as a better signal compared to Bollinger Band breakout, right? So keep this in mind. The last stock that I want to share with you is Shopify. This is where I have somewhat high conviction, but the Bollinger Band hasn't squeezed as much as I'd like. So this is something that you might want to consider. This again has been consolidating here, right? OBV is also somewhat taking support at these levels and we have very clear levels for us to look at when it comes to taking a position based on OBV breakout. If you look at it, this is going to be a double bottom if we got a breakout above this level and if it coincides with the Bollinger Band squeeze as well, this is going to be a very high conviction trade. So out of all the stocks, Probably Shopify would be at list number two or three for me to pick and go ahead with two to three months horizon. Very clear targets as well. You can look for a bounce up to 50 levels, right? You may want to consider taking 50% of your profits at 42 levels and then go up to 52 levels. So very clear levels. I like to trade in these kind of stocks where your levels are very clear, right? And chances are if the levels are clear, the stock is going to respect those levels. And this is exactly what we want for the stock to do because we are um, trading based on technical analysis and key levels. And if those are followed, it feels very good and it adds to our confidence as well. Okay, so these are all the stocks that I wanted to cover in this video because what I've been doing is I've been sharing strategies and I've been showing you some of the past examples. I want to change that going forward as well. I want to make sure that I share with you those kind of stocks where they could be at the verge of breaking out in future so that you can keep an eye on them and take a position if you want to. No buy or sell recommendation. Maybe I should start putting that text that people usually add in the front or in the back end of the video. Never mind. That's all that I wanted to cover. I hope you liked the video. Let me know in the comments if you ever started implementing it, how has been your results so far and keep sharing your results with me in comments on all the strategies that I've shared on YouTube because I want to see how people are performing. If you're not able to perform well, then there's no point in me going through all this hassle of creating these videos. Thanks for being with me. I'll see you soon.